Nvidia kids, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. This is an updated version of this video from 2023. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in description. First, click on the blue button that says New, or press Control N, or if you're on Mac, Command N. First, give your VM a name. I'll make mine Windows 95. It should detect the OS as Windows 95. If it doesn't, set the type to Microsoft Windows and the version to Windows 95. Click Next. Select the amount of RAM you want to use. The default is 64 megabytes, but I'll make it 128 megabytes. Select the amount of disk space you want. I'll leave it at 2 gigabytes. Click Finish. Next, click on the orange button that says Settings, or press Ctrl S, or if you're on a Mac, Command S. Go to Storage. Click on the blue floppy disk icon, then click on the blue floppy disk icon with an arrow, and click Choose a Disk File. Navigate over to your Windows 95 boot disk image. Link for the one I use is in the description. Once you find the file, double click on it. Then click on the blue CD icon, then click on the blue CD icon with an arrow, and click Choose a Disk File. Navigate over to your Windows 95 ISO. Again, link for the one I use is in the description. Again, once you find the file, double click on it. Click OK, then click the green arrow that says Start. It should boot off the floppy image and bring you to a DOS prompt. Once you're at the A prompt, type FDisk and press Enter. Type 1 and press Enter. Again, type 1 and press Enter. Type Y and press Enter. Then, release your cursor using your host key combo. Go to the machine menu and click Reset. You can also do this by holding down your host key combo and press R. It should then reboot. Once you're back at the A prompt, type Format C colon and press Enter. Type Y and press Enter. Once it's done, you can give your drive a volume label if you want to. I will make mine Win95. Type C colon and press enter to switch to the C colon drive you just formatted. Make a directory for the setup files. You can put it anywhere on the drive. I will put it on the root of the drive and call it CADS. Go into the directory and type copy r colon backslash Win95 to copy all setup files to the directory. Take note that my CD drive letter is R. Yours may be different. Once it has copy files, type setup and press enter. ScanDisk will perform a routine check on your system. If you don't want ScanDisk to do that, press escape and type setup backslash is and press enter. You will be greeted by this screen. Click continue. Once you see the screen, click yes. Click Next. Choose where you want to install Windows. I will leave it at C Windows. Choose the type of setup you want. I will choose Typical. You can enter this product key, or go search for one online. Type your name, and if you want, your company name. My name will be TOWF, and my company name will be TOWF Co. Choose what components are in the VM. I will choose Network Adapter, and Sound, MIDI, or Video Capture Card. Setup will then detect your VM's hardware. Choose what components you want to install. I will install the most common components. Choose if you want to start a disk. I will select No. Click Next. 
It will then copy file. Click Finish. Release your mouse cursor again. Go to the Devices menu, go to Floppy Drives, and click Remove Disk from Virtual Drive. Click back into the VM and click OK. It will then reboot and get ready to start for the first time. Click OK. Type your computer name. I will make it Win95. Type your worker name. I will make it Worker. You can also type a computer description if you want to. It will then copy more files over instead of a few more things. You can set your time zone and the date and time. I'll leave it as is. You can install a printer if you want to. I'll skip the step by clicking cancel. Click OK to reboot. It will then reboot again. Type your username and your password if you want one. If you want a password, then you'll have to confirm it. Then, it'll bring you the desktop. Thanks for watching. I hope you're happy with your new Windows 95 VM. Bye!